Welcome back everybody. Today we're changing things up. Instead of my usual rambling and awful gameplay, we're going to talk about the five things I wish I knew. It's a new player, you know, coming into Helldivers 2. Now I don't have uh, too much time in this game, as you can see, uh, but I do know people with my way more hours than me who, until recently, have not learned some of these things. So let's just jump right into it. Number one, holding R, okay? This is very useful mechanic uh, some people may not know about my buddy didn't know about it was wondering why one of his guns was stuck in semi-automatic well here it is you hold R you're in semi-automatic you know the little right click of the button I don't know how it is on controller I don't have a console I mean I have them but I don't play it on console but I mean you can change your fire rate you can you can turn your flashlight on all the time off all the time if it annoys you it's automatically on automatic you know so you can change that if you need to if you're in a dark area you want your flashlight on you can keep it on you can also change your your sight range right so you can sight into a little bit farther if you're using a material cannon you're trying to take out a big uh, AT, AT walker looking thing or you know a big bug from a distance before you enter a base you know sight that puppy in blast it shoot it right out of the sky you know take it out from a distance you can do that just by holding on super simple more people need to take use of that it helps with ammo consumption I mean dude ammo consumption is a big thing in this game if you, if you don't got the ammo then you're done you know you're gonna die. You don't want to keep calling in resupply pods. It gets very annoying. There's a cooldown on it, so conserving your ammo, put things in semi-auto. If you come into a big group, sure ahead. Go, go, go all out. Fire away. But if you're off from a distance, small groups, semi-auto. Way to go. Okay. Number two, collecting samples. Uh, some. Of this one may be more obvious to some rather than others. Uh, I didn't know for a while. Uh, but you can use them to upgrade your ship and your stratagems. Now, I wish I had known that sooner, but at the same time, they're very expensive. You need a lot of them. So collecting them whenever you can, as often as you can, is really good. You're going to have to branch out, you know, Go do other things. We'll get to that in a little bit. But you, you got to go out. You got to find these things. They're very useful. They can reduce cooldowns and duration for a lot of your stratagems. They make them way more useful. It's very helpful. Later game, higher difficulties. If you can call in, you know, you, you can call in, you know, sentry guns sooner and get them down, lay down cover fire. You're going to need them. So, Collecting samples, huge. Knowing what they do, also very huge. I mean, it's right in front of your face, but if you're like me, you missed it. It's literally, you go to the terminal all the way on the right tab. There's a ton of them. They're very expensive, so start collecting, start saving up. You're going to need them. Okay, now, number three is a little weird. Okay, it's a VPN. All right, this game, as we know, has server issues. I've dealt with my server issues in the past, but when I first downloaded the game, I couldn't get it at all. Okay, it was, it wouldn't even allow me to get into a lobby, nothing. And I tried reinstalling it, I tried doing everything I could, but for me, it hated Starlink. I use Starlink, I've mentioned that in the past. It, it, the game doesn't like it. The servers don't like it, but for some reason, using a VPN seems to solve majority of my issues. And I say majority because there are still things that do have the limitations. Like, you, if the servers are full or at capacity, uh, you know, you, you're not getting it. You might as well wait a while, go play another game, go do something else. But it's sometimes just turning on a VPN just helps and I get in immediately. But they have since been working. They've updated almost every day. It's been a lot better. And I have been able to not even need a VPN for most scenarios now. Uh, they're not completely racist to Starlink. So it lets me in. And But even still, a VPN has been helpful in do, getting in and doing that. So if you have access to it, 
give it a try. It seems to help me. I don't know why, but yeah. All right, number four. Uh, when you open your map, okay, you, I, I don't know the controls on controller, but on the keyboard, you press tab, you open your map, hold the right click button and you can mark, you can mark locations on that map for everybody. I didn't know this. Uh, I saw other people doing it, which made me play around and kind of try to figure it out. And yeah, it, it's very helpful. Just hold the right click, go tag something. I mean, you can mark locations of where you want to go next. You can mark important locations. Let your team know. Uh, if you're playing with random people, uh, they're not going to care. They're just going to wander off and do their own thing most times but if you're with friends it's very helpful because it puts a little marker on the compass at the top of your screen and that way you don't have to keep opening the map to try to figure out if you're going in the right direction or not especially when you're you know getting heavily surrounded and you're trying to stay in the fight opening that map limits you you can't shoot you can't fight it makes it way harder so instead of just pressing tab you can just see the marker on the screen okay you know where you're headed next Everybody, it works for everybody. You can all see you're all on the same, you know, you're all on the same page. You're all going in the same direction. Now just survive, okay? Just keep going. All right. That's a very important one. Okay. Now number five. Number five is very important. Uh, going for the extra tasks. I mean, if you're like me, it drives me nuts. When you join somebody's game or somebody joins you, and all they want to do is do those stupid little primary objectives and then boom we're out okay you're losing out on so much you're not getting you're not getting any of your samples which help you uh, you're not getting any bonus XP you're not doing anything else I mean you you can't you can try to argue that okay if I get in I get out I get the bonus from time saved and then I can move on to the next one and try blah 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 yeah no you can literally double up your XP if you just take a few extra minutes and if you're efficient you can just get it done you don't have to do everything but doing most things pretty good you just get in get it done you know branch off a little bit go do some other things and then get out don't be that guy that goes by himself orders in the extract and then hops in the ship by himself and now you lose out on that XP bonus too because you ditched your team. Don't be that guy. We're here fighting as a team. Okay. We're supposed to be liberating, not you know, extracting without our friends. That's not cool. Like the I get it. Sometimes the missions can be kinda long. If you're in a rush, you need to get out of here. Whatever. You know, at least make it apparent, say something. But most of the times I'm trying to do as much as I can within that time frame so that I can maximize you know experience and all the bonus stuff that I'm getting and if you're not going to be that guy don't join my game if you try to call in the extract I see you heading that way I'm gonna start kicking people because it's very annoying I don't care you, you're gonna lose out because I'm gonna lose out if I leave you here Okay, so don't be that guy, all right? Nobody wants to be that guy, okay? Be a team player in the name of democracy, okay? You know, we're all here fighting, trying to survive, but we have to do it together, okay? So that's a, that's a good, important one, all right? Thank you, everybody. Uh, feel free to leave a comment with other things you wish you knew when you first started playing the game. You know, maybe you learned some things after many hours, some, you know, I don't know, some people do, some people don't, I don't know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'll see you guys out there in the fight for liberty. All right, talk to you later.